extracting and evaluating features from RNA virus sequence to predict host species susceptibility using deep learning. I'm presenting the work of Kevin Sutento and myself, Marcel Zorcot. We are from the University of Ottawa. We were inspired to work on this from the current pandemic. RNA viruses are infecting specific hosts. However, through high mutation rate and sequence reassortment, they're able to jump to different species. Therefore, it's important for the worldwide public health agencies to be able to control the spread by monitoring the reservoir of possible hosts. There are manual testing techniques that exist, but they are demanding. So therefore, this begs for computational techniques that can be used to narrow down the search for possible hosts. The other justification for the work is that we had recently developed a concept called RNA secondary structure fingerprints that we were using with deep learning to classify RNA sequences. This work was later extended into global local secondary structure fingerprints, and it's described in the thesis of Kevin. Deep learning has been used to study viruses before. It's been used to study metagenomic data to identify viruses. It's been used to study the interaction between viral and host proteins. And on a limited scale, it has been used to identify possible hosts. The previous studies use the RNA virus sequences themselves, the encoded proteins, or KMERS. In this work, we wanted to make use of a type of information called secondary structure. It's known that RNA molecules are able to fold into complex structures. I will refer you to the paper for more information about RNA structure. So secondary structure tends to be more conserved than sequence information. Secondary structure plays important biological roles. The recent literature has a lot of examples of recent research highlighting the fact that some secondary structure motifs, some conserved secondary structure element, were playing important biological role with these viruses. And so far, to the best of our knowledge, there was no pa paper published where secondary structure was used to predict host species susceptibility. With this work, we wanted to know, can features derived from secondary structure improve virus host prediction, either using secondary structure information alone or combined with sequence information? And we use deep learning. The method looks like this. For the features, we use three types of features, KMER, SKIPMERS, and secondary structure fingerprints. KMERS are well known in bioinformatics and they're often used with machine learning techniques. We use KMERS of size 4, 5, and 6. SKIPMERS are similar to KMERS, but they contain wildcards at some positions. They allow to represent effectively longer sequence pattern. Here we use two kinds of skipmers. The match one, skip one, skipmers of length seven, nine, and 11, as well as the biologically justified match two, skip one, skipmers of length six, seven, and nine, which could be important herein because RNA viruses have protein, protein coding capacity. In terms of secondary structure fingerprints, we use our own data set, which was lifted from the literature. So we have a repertoire of frequently occurring secondary structure motifs. In this approach, what we do is each of the motif is matched against a sequence. 
We then calculate the free energy. This information is rescaled and that produces the feature vector. The tool was, that was used for finding the matches is RNA motif. And this approach is meant to circumvent some of the current limitation associated with the prediction of RNA secondary structure information. Although there's no work where secondary structure information has been used for predicting susceptible host, secondary structure information has been used for other problems, including the classification of non-coding RNAs. In the work of Fianaka, the input sequence is fed to a secondary structure prediction tool to produce the secondary structure. An algorithm called MOS is applied on the secondary structure to extract features. Our approach is different. We have a repertoire of frequently occurring secondary structure motifs. We use a tool called RNA motif to match a given sequence and then calculate the free energy of the matches and statistics of the free energy are used to construct the feature vector. For the deep learning, we use three architectures. They consist of two, three, or four ReLU activated dense layers ended with a soft max dense layer. When we're reporting the performance of our method, we're reporting the performance of the best architecture for a given feature set. The width of the input layer is proportional to the size of the feature set. So when running an experiment with former, the size is 256. We use standard deep learning methodologies tenfold cross-validation. The optimizer was Adam. Because it's a multiple class classification problem, we use sparse categorical cross-entropy as loss function and our learning rate as a DK. The data set was extracted from NCBI virus database. There's a number of filtering steps and at the end we have over 47,000 entries. The results are as follows. So when we use one feature type at a time, we find that the sequence-based features always outperform the secondary structure-based features. The best performance was obtained with the match two, skip one, skip mirror of length nine for an accuracy of 84.92. For the secondary structure fingerprints, we find that Combining statistics derived from free energy generally outperforms using minimum free energy alone. And we find that combining six mer as well as the match two skip one skip mer of length nine with minimum free energy was the best combination when using secondary structure information and the accuracy was 85.9. However, overall, the best performance was obtained when using six mer and the length nine match to skip one skip mer. And the accuracy was 86.9. The limitations of the work are as follows. So currently, the performance that we report is for the top prediction. However, we, we believe that it would still be useful for the biologist to have access to a system like this where the system would perform well if the known host is found in the top K, say the top three best prediction. So this is something to further investigate. We find that the secondary structure fingerprints have some limitations. We find that currently we have to combine statistics from free energy in order to obtain better results. 
However, we recently extended our work on these secondary structure fingerprints with a concept that we call global local secondary structure fingerprints. And we believe that these results are uh, promising. So to conclude, we proposed and tested a deep learning pipeline to predict susceptible host from viral sequence. We believe that it's the first work on this scale. Unlike previous studies, we've made use of secondary structure information as well as sequence information. The use of secondary structure was justified by the fact that they're known to play important biological roles. The best classification accuracy that we obtained was 86.9% and this was when using SIXMER plus match two skip one skip MERS of length nine. In this study, the sequence based features were the ones that performed best. But we believe that through combining different statistics from free energy, as well as our new concept of global local secondary structure fingerprint, we can further improve this work. Thank you for your attention. You can download this presentation as well as the data set at the following URL or by pointing your camera at this QR code.